What is going on guys? Today I'm making a video about the NTW-50 in Battlefield 2042. First we're going to go over how it compares to other snipers, the cons, the pros, tips, and then my personal setup with the NTW-50. So first how it compares to other snipers, it's pretty obvious if you've used it or seen any gameplay on it. Um, it does not shoot long range very well. Uh, the bullet drop is pretty terrible and it seems to get worse the farther it shoots and also it's not a one shot over 300 yards um the rechamber is really slow i say the rechamber might be a second and a half maybe it's got a really low mag size for the cap the sws and the dxr both have extended mags which i think help them a lot there's not many attachments you only have the sight and the ammunition attachments available for the ntw and it has really bad accuracy when no scoping, I've found at least. I know with the DXR and SWS, I did have a lot of luck no scoping a lot of times. So I do think the, the no scope accuracy is pretty awful, which makes sense. The gun's really strong. It is a one shot. So I think having these things, the slow rechamber, low mag size, uh, doesn't shoot long range very well. All those things are, you know, really balanced for this sniper. And then onto the pros. Uh, it does one shot, like I said, within range, excluding people with armor, so you do have to watch out for that. I think the range is around 300 yards that it will one shot up to. It could be a little shorter than that. Um, it destroys vehicles really well. I have probably 15 vehicle destroys. I don't go for them all the time, but it does do well, especially on the smaller vehicles. Um, the collateral potential for the NTW is insane. As I said, it's a one shot, so... Especially on games like uh, Breakthrough, just the collaterals you'll get in the game are really satisfying. Um, and like I said, it is good for close range games like Breakthrough. Anything where there's going to be a lot of action in a close range area, especially on some of the maps where it does get pretty crazy. And I think this sniper fits aggressive playstyles a lot better because you do have to be pretty up close to other people. And then onto the tips, I think this sniper is best to use at a closer range. Like I said, within 300 yards, preferably just for that one shot, which might seem foreign and weird to a lot of like longtime battlefield snipers, uh, but I promise this sniper is very fun to use. And if you are shooting long range, you're going to want to aim higher than you would think for the headshot over 300 meters. I use a 3.5, so there's little dots, but I would pretty much go towards the bottom and that was like... 350 or something like that not very far um another tip is using the insertion beacon is good for keeping yourself close to enemies especially on breakthrough if you're attacking and you have to spawn really far away or defending for that matter and another tip don't no scope just don't try it if you're going to do anything aim and shoot at the same time that will give you a little more accuracy not much it's going to help a little bit you want to stay at those weird angles that people aren't going to expect. I do have a video on how to be a more effective sniper where I do cover angles. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it will be right above. Um, the slow rechamber is really the cause for this. You should always be in a spot anyways that most people aren't going to look to increase your potential to be able to get kills. Um, but with the NTW, usually you're so close that you do need to be at a different angle and you always want to stay moving and you want to stand still when shooting. That is another huge thing I did cover in my how to be a more effective sniper video. So when you're, let's say people on a kaleidoscope usually come up that hill with like the circle things. If they're kind of going in the middle area, you're going to want to be running not all the way around that thing, but around 90 degrees of it, just going back and forth and just trying to stay out of people's vision for too long. Spotting and being spotted in this game really sucks right now because proximity nades are used proximity uh, throwable is used so much in the game so you're kind of always being spotted but moving around a lot is going to keep people on their toes and since it does have the one shot potential you usually will come out on top in my personal setup for the ntw50 um, i'm just going to reiterate there's hardly any attachments so this isn't anything crazy most people are going to do this and you are going to have a personal preference on the scope but use the high power armor piercing they do shoot a little bit straighter I believe, at least that's what I found after I got them. My personal favorite scope is the 3.5 times, and my personal favorite specialist is going to be McKay because you can get access to those weird angles higher up places and increase your kills really easy and your effectiveness in the game in general. 
Sundance is another really good option because she does have flank potential and getting up close potential, but that comes with its downsides. A lot of times you're gliding into a spot where there's too many people and you can't stay out of people's line of sight. And that kind of breaks the rule of staying at weird angles. If you're right in the middle of everybody or even behind for that matter, people turn around pretty quick and they will kill you. So an insertion beacon is going to be great, especially with Sundance, because if you can fly into a spot where it's off to the side of everybody, you can place that. And if you die, you're already up close. And uh, the proximity nade, I know I just said it's a problem in the game, but keeping people spotted through bushes, just seeing where people are is going to help you. And I don't know if anyone else has experienced, but when people are already spotted, like by my team, I don't always see them. And I know that when I've spotted people with my proximity nade, it doesn't seem like everybody else sees those same players. I don't know if that's intentional or just a bug in the game right now. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the NTW-50. I do personally think it's the best sniper in Battlefield 2042 because I do have a really aggressive play style. And I think it compares to the SWS in terms of how I play with it. Because the SWS I do play pretty close. Um, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more Battlefield content, subscribe. I will be posting more helpful guides. And then once the game kind of gets into it a little bit, I'll just be posting typical gameplay and commentary. Anyways, later.